Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Just out on the front porch. It's an early March, uh, beautiful, almost spring day. Enjoying the sounds of the spring peepers out there. Uh, pretty soon the trees will be budding and I'll be mowing. Right now everything's still dead, but anyways, uh, today's video, you know my channel that I post a few videos on here and there. Uh, I changed it to Jeep and things. The last few videos have been over and things, just different things. But today, we're going to walk around the edge of the house. Uh, it's about Jeeps, a Jeep, to be more particular and specific. Uh, if you've watched any of my older videos, it started out with I bought a new 2018 Jeep JL, two-door. It was a manual six-speed uh six-speed manual manual windows it had a hard top and uh, uh air conditioning but uh, as i went through the progression of it here and there uh, wheels tires etc and i would put it on video exhaust it was a six-speed manual like i said and the wife just couldn't i worked with her on it and i thought she was doing pretty darn good but she just wasn't confident in herself so she uh we were afraid that if she ever had to drive it instead of her vehicle uh she was scared that it would uh she just wasn't confident enough to drive it so i traded it in got a 2019 two-door jl except this one was uh considerably upgraded had the larger screen in it uh it had built-in garage door openers heated seat heated steering wheel it was pretty loaded and i had it oh about a year and two months loved it loved both of my jeep two-door jls but they uh, there just wasn't any room so as we walk around and this is what today's short video is over couple weeks ago about 10 days ago I purchased this four-door Jeep so this will be what we will be doing videos over or what I'll be doing videos over just a quick uh, the other two Jeeps the two-door Jeeps like I said I bought them new I probably put 10,000 miles on the first one the stick shift I put 26,000 on the second one, the 2019 JL. And now we have this. This is a 2018 four-door JL. And this one, when I got it, had 38,500 miles on it, right at 38,500 miles. So this one already has more miles than both those combined, but it still doesn't have that many miles. Uh, the difference between this one and the others, besides being four-door, it's got the 2.0 turbo. First impressions, love it. I loved my 3.6 liter. This little turbo uh, will get up and go. And we'll take a look at the inside. I love the outside. I love the red. Just real quick, as I do things to it, this will be what you may say a long-term project because I will keep this one a while. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take this off between your bumper and your fender. This plastic cover here, I really don't know what the purpose. I don't know if it's for aesthetics or if it actually helps gas mileage. And on my second Jeep, I did a video, kind of a how-to video to take these off so you can actually see the tire. And then this old plastic brush guard if you take that off, which I did put on an earlier video uh, on my other Jeep, it actually has a diamond plate, steel diamond plate behind it. So one afternoon, I'm going to take that off. It takes like 20 minutes. I'll eventually get headlights, tires, uh, and whatnot. Well, and this Jeep, like I said, I love the 2.0. Oh, we'll get in here. This one has 39,000, if that'll focus. 39,670 uh, miles. 
So I put over a thousand miles on it already in the last 10 days. So it has the, I'll go ahead and start it up. It has the smaller screen. Uh, turn that down. It has a smaller screen. It still is touch screen, as you can see, but you got your controls on the side from the compass to whatnot, media. So we'll go back to radio. This one does have Sirius XM if I elect to get it. Uh, the fuel economy, if that'll focus on that, 23.3 is what I'm currently getting. I took it on a trip that was about two hours one way, about a hundred mile, and I was uh, speed limit was 60. It got about 26. Uh, 0.3 miles, so it does excellent. That 23.3 is just running around, running around the house. But man, so far I absolutely love it. Uh, as you can see, nothing fancy. Manual windows, and one thing, and I personally haven't done it, and I got it for the room, and I do like this. It came with the factory plastic mats in the front and back. I really like that. So. I'm six foot tall. The front seat uh, is in the driving position that I would use. So, plenty, I mean, plenty of leg room. Uh, turn it around here. Plenty of headroom if I'm getting that camera on me correctly. Plenty of headroom. Obviously, the seats fold down. Uh, seats fold down and this one actually has the Brickstone Dueler ATs so they do have some uh, it's not super aggressive tread but I'm pleased with the tread I'll run these tires for a while then of course in the back uh, it's got more space than my two door Jeep did but that's to be expected being a four door over two door just got my some of my Jeep hats in here. And of course I have my bag. It's got my binoculars, sock hats, air kit to air up the tire. Got a little tool kit. The coat and sock hats, gloves, they'll be coming out. But that's it guys. Uh, so far I'm really, really enjoying the new little jeep here so more updates to come as i do things i'll post videos and like i said this will be a long term uh for this jeep i will have this one a while and uh we've already got some jeep things slated to do so i hope you enjoyed and uh once again as i get some things done uh, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good evening. One thing I forgot to mention on the uh, first video I was doing over the Jeep. I guess you could consider this bonus footage. But when I was speaking of, and you could see the black plastic hanging down that I'm going to take off. But when I was speaking of the molding between the fender and the bumper... on my first jeep which i had a video of when i put wheels and tires i went from 245 75 17s uh to 285 i went up four tire sizes 285 70 17 so they were a little wider aftermarket wheels uh and i had just about they stuck out to about right there the thing of it is, is in these, and I don't, I did a video, uh, and you can go back and watch it on that first Jeep, taking these off, and that plastic guard. Like I said, behind it, it's a metal diamond plate. It looks a lot better to me. And then once you take this off, you have a gap so you can actually see your tires. But it does also serve another purpose. You can see that's probably two inches there, two and a half. When you remove this, and it's easy to do, 
when you take this off, if you do go to larger tires, it'll give you an extra uh, two and a half inches of clearance. On the second Jeep, I bought some stock Rubicon wheels and I went to 295 70 17. So they were even larger. Once again, you can go back and watch that video also. I had plenty of room because I had taken this out. So if you have a JL and you want to leave it, uh, and it doesn't look bad, I just like it off myself, personal preference, especially if you go up in tire size. So just a little bit of bonus there to let you. You can get a larger tire in there. And this is stock 245, 75, 17 Brickstone uh, ATs. And then the last thing, the wheels. These are actually factory Jeep wheels. I really, really, really like these wheels. So I will eventually get larger tires, more aggressive. But I will keep the wheels. I really like those. But anyways, I just got to thinking about it as far as a plastic molding. Uh, Besides taking it off, if that's your look preference, it will give you an extra uh, clearance for tires. All right, y'all have a good evening. Thank you.